magical, glorious, magnificent, mystical, where the past becomes real. Few words can describe and no images can do justice to this most beautiful of Central European countries. Home of a thousand spires, the birthplace of the Velvet Revolution, famed for Kafka, Dvorak and Havel, and the source of the world's finest beers. Prepare to be engulfed not just in a Bohemian, but a Moravian Rhapsody as well. This is the Czech Republic. So much of Europe's turbulent modern history revolves around this remarkable place. Today, having split peacefully from Slovakia in 1993, the Czech Republic has never been more luring for both tourists and investors. A nation ready for business and home to an outspoken population, confidently taking their place in a modern, united Europe. This is the Czech Republic. For a country that's only been around since 1993, the Czech Republic does an exceptional job of showcasing a rich and proud history while looking ahead into a prosperous and pan-European focused future. This nation of over 10 million people is a success story within the European Union, and the continent's most economically progressive nation is also its most beautiful. One of the things that make the Czech Republic a great place to invest and do business is the location. It's in the middle of Europe, on the crossroads of the east-west trade, which uh, helps uh, exporters uh, to expand their business. Uh, another strong advantage is the technological potential, is the scientific base, is the skilled labor, which gives rise to a number of high-growth industries and companies in the technological sector, in the biotechnology, in the IT business. Uh, and also, I would like to mention the healthy banking system and a number of government incentives which are available to exporters. The Czech Republic joined the European Union in 2004 and is recognized as the optimal business environment from which to better serve international companies. Sustained enhancements to the business environment by the Czech government and the ability of the country to harness its intellectual capital and natural resources to respond to the needs of the global economy have made this country Europe's new powerhouse. The days of a dull bureaucratic communist nation are long gone. The Czech Republic is now a fully-fledged parliamentary democracy and one of the most economically advanced members of the European Union. The, the Czech Republic, uh, after the revolution in uh, 1989, went through the process of transformation from the communist country to the, the capitalistic one. And as we see, compared to the other Eastern European countries, that we are probably one of the best uh, uh, who finished this transformation. We privatized most of the companies uh, successfully, the, all the banks, all the financial sectors, all the, the big industrial companies like the Škoda car producer is was successfully privatized. Uh, we keep very uh, comparable with other countries. We keep very low uh, the budget deficit, so we still have very healthy healthy economy. An open investment climate has been a key element of the country's economic transition. In terms of foreign direct investment per capita the Czech Republic is the most successful of all the countries that were formerly under communist rule. The country's investment grade ratings from international credit rating agencies and its early membership in the OECD testify to its positive economic fundamentals. According to the 2010-2011 Global Competitiveness Report published by the World Economic Forum, the Czech Republic ranks 36 among 139 world economies in competitiveness. One of the main attractions of the Czech economy is its skilled and well-educated workforce, available at a fraction of the cost of those of its Western neighbors. Over the past five years, average annual wage has grown around 6%, but it is coming from a much lower base compared to Western Europe. 
investment possibility is, is great, I, I think, because we are a country uh, very closely connected uh, on industrial level mainly with the other neighbors uh, of the whole Europe. So Czech uh, 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 quality of employees is very high, uh, uh, well-educated, uh, 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 a young generation also with a good knowledge of, of English language. So it's also something, it's the atmosphere here. Yeah. Accelerated growth is manifested in the economy. The country has an optimistic outlook for the future, thanks in part to investment incentives and aid from the European Union or from other national sources. With their projects and subsequent expansions, American and global corporations are expressing nothing but appreciation for the potential of this dynamic nation. Coming up next, On the Right Track. Czech Railways, the main railway operator of the Czech Republic providing passenger and freight service. The Czech Republic has some of the highest infrastructure densities in Europe and our mission is to become the first choice for clients. We are fully committed to development, improving standards of safety, and hiring the best possible staff. And with Czech Railways Cargo, the nation's freight transport provider of choice, your goods will arrive securely and on time. Looking at a bright future ahead, Czech Railways, your personal carrier. The Czech Export Guarantee and Insurance Corporation. We are a state-owned company with private sector efficiency set up to ensure your exports from the Czech Republic. Whether you're a local or multinational, large or small corporation, our primary focus is to assist companies doing business in the Czech Republic so that you can export your products anywhere around the globe, including to volatile regions. EGAP. We support Czech exports. Welcome to the five-star Art Deco Imperial Hotel in Prague. Dating from 1914, this landmark hotel is situated in Prague's historic city center. Come and relax in one of our 126 rooms and suites, or stop by to enjoy our famous Café Imperial and restaurant. Come indulge yourself in tradition and style, a unique dimension in elegance. The Art Deco Imperial Hotel in Prague. Our beauty is within. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Downtown Prague at rush hour. Tens of thousands of people pass through this terminus every day. Czech Railways is the main railway operator in the Czech Republic. Czech Railways are the, the provider of the public service in the in rail, uh, rail business. Uh, we are uh, we having uh, more than 90% of the, of the market. We operate uh, about 7,000 trains a day and we transport uh, about 160 million passengers per year. Uh, Czech Railways uh, as the main task is to inc increase the quality of the service and uh, of course to uh, invest to the new rolling stocks which is the one of the key key parameters to be able to compete on the, on the open market. The expansion in the, in the passenger business is the mainly we are concentrating on, a, on the domestic market. Uh, our main task is to improve the quality of service and uh, improve the quality of the rolling stocks. It means to, to decrease the average age uh, to European level, which is around 15, 15 years. So we mainly investing to the new rolling stock. Uh, regarding our cargo uh, company, which is the top five uh, provider of the freight business, uh, the main task is to uh, enlarge our operation through possible strategic alliances and uh, also through possible acquisition mainly in the surrounding countries. With almost 6,000 miles of tracks, the Czech Republic has one of the densest railway networks in Europe. Yet Czech Railways is not profitable, something that the current management plans to change. To be able to compete with the, with the road transport, uh, we need to improve our efficiency improve our functionality, 
increase our speed, which is related to the increasing quality of infrastructure. So to be able to, to transport the goods in time and reasonable, reasonable speed. Uh, what is also important that state will provide uh, the fair condition both for the rail and for the road business. So I mean it's introducing the, the higher taxes for the, for the road uh, transport and uh, also decreasing the, the fees which we pay for using infrastructure for, for cargo business. Uh, there is also the plan to, to build up the logistics center, which then you are able to, to deliver the goods from door to door as is required now by most of the clients. Its cargo division, Czech Cargo, is the fifth largest railway cargo operator in the European Union. Czech Cargo offers transportation of a wide range of goods, from raw materials to products of high added value. The Czech Republic has emerged as one of the region's most industrialized economies. Its strategic location, well-developed infrastructure, and skilled labor force has allowed the small nation to punch above its weight and become an important regional and international manufacturing hub. The high quality of Czech products have made the country a premium exporter. Coupled with the burgeoning growth of Czech suppliers, and the shift away from labor cost sensitive investments, the Czech export market is booming. The government has set up several institutions uh, assisting exporters, while EGAP and uh, Czech Export Bank are providing financing for exports. Uh, there is an agency called Czech Trade which helps exporters find contacts around the world. Uh, in its strategy of supporting exporters, government uh, actually uh, supports both large and small companies. Therefore, also the product portfolio of IGAP uh, is geared toward both the large companies and large exports and small companies and small exports. Before World War II, then Czechoslovakia favored traditional export-oriented light industries such as food processing. The communist regime changed this as the country focused on the production of heavy machinery, something that the Czech Republic has maintained a strong market share in. While the traditional base of Czech exports lies in machines and machinery equipment, uh, we are focusing more and more in supporting exporters in the industries with high added value based on intellectual property, like new technologies, uh, nanotechnologies, uh, clean technologies, etc. Uh, regarding the markets, also we are focusing more and more on the dynamically developing markets outside of the European Union, like Russia, the other countries of the former Soviet Union, India, Vietnam, Turkey, and several Arab countries. The Czech Republic rests on some of the most fertile land in Europe. It is not surprising that the nation's soil grows quality barley for its most beloved product, beer. The Czech Republic is also Europe's leading exporter of cereals and oats. We are very lucky that we have something like uh, oat in, from Czech Republic, that the quality of this oat is really recognized all over the world. I must say that it's not only Czech Republic, it's also Slovakia, Germany, the Middle European oat has a special features which are bringing the added quality to our products. We, have, uh, we are in the contact with university. They have all the time studies on, uh, on the parameters of the oat and it's really something the, of the best in the, in the world. So every country of course is trying to have some uh, to, to build what is special, what is different, and we are very lucky that we can uh, make the thing with oat which is produced in Czech Republic. Uh, there is uh, something similar, uh, which is uh, barley, uh, which is the base for, for Czech beer. And also Czech beer, it's uh, very well known uh, all over the world. Joining the European Union has been a blessing for the Czech Republic's many exporters, such as Prague-based Emco which has benefited from the nation's startling optimism and support for small businesses. With the help of funds from European Union, it's easier for us to invest. 
We as a company, we had already five or six uh, subsidies for different uh, machines. Uh, so we are using it and investing heavily to be on the level of the best European producers. And I think it's a general feeling or general situation in all Eastern countries. Coming up next, a Moravian Rhapsody. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. A perfect business environment for your international events and an ideal base for business. The Brno Fairgrounds, Central Europe's exhibition center. A member of the Messe Dusseldorf Group, BVV Trade Fairs Brno is the leading organizer of trade shows with its own exhibition center in the Czech Republic. BVV Trade Fairs Brno has top-notch experience in organizing trade fairs and business events, utilizing Brno's strategic geographical location and excellent infrastructure. The tradition of trade fairs in Brno is inseparable from the urban development of the city into an industrial, scientific and logistics hub in Central Europe. Since 1918, the Brno Exhibition Center has offered more than 130,000 square meters of net exhibition area, ranking it among the world's largest exhibition centers. The Brno Fairgrounds also includes a modern and convenient Holiday Inn Brno Hotel, just a five-minute drive from Brno's historic center. A true trade fairs capital. Brno, the basis for your business. Look no further for your home away from home destination in Prague than at the K&K Hotels. With two centrally located hotels to choose from, K&K Hotels keeps its promise to guests to expect more, get more, enjoy more. One of Austria's leading hotel brands and entirely family owned, the K&K Hotels in Prague boast distinctive character and stylish atmosphere. For business or pleasure, choose K&K Hotels. When visiting the Czech Republic, where better to forget your worries while viewing the breathtaking Prague Castle from the banks of the Vltava River than at the historic President Hotel Prague. With our unique combination of a fantastic location in the historical center of Prague and our spacious and comfortable rooms with magnificent views, we welcome business and leisure guests to experience our hospitality. Indulge yourself in one of our 130 wonderful guest rooms or suites while our staff caters to your wishes. For your entertainment, choose our fitness area to relax. For your event planning, the President Hotel aims to make sure all your requirements are met in the quickest and most effective way. We sell dreams. We sell comfort. We sell perceptions. The President Hotel Prague. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Moravia, on the eastern part of the Czech Republic, a region both strong and confident, and home to two of Moravia's most important cities, Olomouc and Brno. The noble city of Olomouc is probably Central Europe's most underrated city. Thanks to its well-preserved old town, charming cobble squares, Baroque fountains, and a young population, it is one of the Czech Republic's best-kept secrets. Olomouc has a strategic location in the middle of Moravia, with good access of European and Eastern markets. We have also rich history, traditions, and culture. We have good quality of life, healthy environment, and beautiful landscape. Our schools offer excellent level of education as a prerequisite for a highly skilled workforce. We have long tradition in manufacturing industry, dynamically developing business sector. We can offer a lot of industrial zones, high standard office buildings and laboratory premises. We have a lot of strategic services companies and we can offer also new congress and conference opportunities. 
Olomouc was the capital of Moravia from 1187 to 1641. The municipality is aggressively pursuing both tourists and businesses to come and experience this endearing city. With its convenient location, ancient university, and spiritual, cultural, and craft traditions, it is also now opening up to various international companies through its business and industrial parks. The Olomouc City Hall offers high quality assistance to foreign investors through its de Department of Strategy and Development. We can discuss investors' business plans and assisting by its realizing. We are also ready to help to find the right location in the Olomouc area. We have enough available space in industrial and logistic parks. We can also link foreign investors with our local subcontractors. And last but not least, we offer high quality aftercare services. The capital of Moravia is Brno. With a population of nearly 500,000, Brno is the Czech Republic's second largest city, one that puts an emphasis on commerce, logistics, and education. The city of Brno considers itself as not just the trade fairs capital of the Czech Republic, but of all of Central Europe, thanks to its unique exhibition center. The tradition of trade fairs in Brno is inseparable from the industrial development of the city into an industrial, scientific, and logistics hub in the region. The University Hospital Brno, established in 1998, consists of specialized centers for adult medicine, reproductive medicine, and childcare. The University Hospital Brno is the only hospital in Brno and all of Moravia which provides patients with highly specialized care in all medical branches. Brno is also becoming a leading center for healthcare and scientific research in the region. Pokud jde o zdravotnické investice, tak tam investoři naleznou velmi kvalitní zdravotnický systém, který má své vnitřní problémy, tak jako ostatně každý systém zápasí s financemi, ale stále má mimořádně kvalitní personál, a to jak lékaře, tak nižší personál a velkou sílu v síti univerzitních pracovišť, které o výzkum mají zájem a jsou ochotné poskytnout i výzkumné zázemí pro firmy, pokud by ho potřebovali. Czech Republic can learn uh, so much uh, in top scientific centers. Uh, now in Brno have started uh, two projects, scientific projects. One is uh, International uh, Clinical Research Center. Uh, it cooperates uh, with Mayo Clinic. And the second, uh, it's uh, oriented uh, to the base, basic science, is SATEC, Central European Technological Institute. And that's uh, according my opinion, we can learn so much from the top scientific organizations in the United States. What Moravia offers is individuality. While the greater Moravian Empire is now gone, its legacy lives on in the country's present.
Europe, of European Union, but it has its wonderful differences, wonderful traditions, a lot of history and a lot of intimacy in its, in its wonderful cultural places. So it's a, it's a place, it's a country like other developed European country, but it's with wonderful specifics, beautiful landscape, a lot of wonderful natural parks, beautiful historical towns and cities, old palaces, churches, a lot of culture, and it's a place, it's a, it's a historic crossroads between West and East, North and South. So it's in the very center of Europe and all this history is something you can very easily touch here and get enriched by that. Many Americans are now having a competitive global edge by choosing to study abroad. And what better place to do it than in the city that has inspired countless artists, scientists and academia. Prague brings out the best in people and has become a beacon of learning for the most ambitious students. Prague is a great place to be, great place to study. It has a rich history. Very many famous people, many scholars have lived here and have contributed to the development of science and education. We can speak about Albert Einstein, for instance, who spent several years in Prague at the beginning of the 20th century. In Prague, students come here to study, to get their education while enjoying a wonderful place, while enjoying culture, while meeting people from all over the world. It's a great place which stimulates the best of people. It is a place to meet friends, it is a place to visit castles, churches, enjoy beautiful landscape and also it's wonderfully centrally located in Europe. So certainly I very much encourage the young people who would like to spend part of their student life abroad in some place in the world to go ahead and choose Prague. It will give you very much and you will never regret that. Commitment, competence and competitiveness. Three characteristics of a nation and a people that have nowhere else to go but up. The Czech Republic is leading Central Europe into a new prosperous era and Americans are welcomed with open arms. To come to Czech Republic, come to Prague to see the, the potential of the Czech Republic and uh, come to invest your money, I believe that will be the, one of the best investments you can make. If you are doing business, I'd like you to imagine doing business in one of the most open and healthy economies uh, in Europe, in the Czech Republic. And if that's not enough, just come to visit or consider living in one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Czech Republic welcomes you.